Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Ya Brach, you may be seated. Zuad Yubrach, Ya, for all things, for the excellence of his truth, his imad, his power, that he grants unto Yisra'ya that we may know him, Yada, we may experience him through the power, through understanding the revelation of Torah. As the old say, we will test him and see if it works. And that's what Torah is. We will see if the principles of Yahweh, what he speaks unto us, if it's applicable or that it is, uh, we can utilize it in our daily lives and our walk with him daily. I wanted to talk tonight just for a while because we are going to have somewhat of a short service. I will give myself one hour plus, all right? Not much more because the ark will be leaving around nine, headed to Atlanta for the trip to Yamaha uh, there with uh, Travis. They will meet him uh, in Kingston, a beautiful man, that uh, uh, precious ark uh, that he has called frequently. They have an assembly there, and they will go to be in fellowship with him and seek out Sister Hawkins. And those that are of the house of Yisraya, I'm excited to see the young ark uh, as they venture in Yeshua HaMashiach, and that they be standards of light and light bearers of his imads. You know, stand for his truth. The battles may be strong and there's nothing like a great battle. Hallelujah. You may lose the battle, but the war is the ultimate victorious power that we win in the end. So that's all right. It's all right to lose a scrimmage or a battle. That's all right, Israel. We know that Yah fights the battle for his people. Yisrael, so in the end we will win. I want to talk a little tonight on the word prosperity, prospering, uh, of having what the world call, quote, good success, unquote. And how this has been nurtured in a society that is so corrupt, vile, and wicked, and yet they relate the natural physical things uh, as to one truly prospering or having a success in life. That there is only one remedy and ingredient whereby we can have the term success or we can have the prosperity or the sholach that we prosper, we advance, we become more nurtured, we mature, that we have the necessary things that Yah commands us to have to battle or to stride in the midst of a dark, wicked generation of people. And what Hashatan has done, he has laid out this paradigm through this religious harlot, what we call Christendom. And through the anointing of their Christo, their Christ, their Jesus, their Lord, their Allah, he has promoted this physical uh, identity of what we call prosperity uh, and it's not prosperity because these things uh, are not tangible at all. Yah speaks unto Yisra'ya the very components of what it takes uh, to walk in the shalak or the prosperity that we advance. We advance spiritually uh, and naturally as a people, as a nation, we advance in, tel in our in intellect, in our knowledge, and we stride in the ways of Almighty Yah. I want to deal with the concept of that and how the enemy has taken that concept and he has defiled it and corrupt it with this false, damnable, twisted image of a corrupt mind, and that's all this uh, wicked religious harlots uh, teach today, uh, and that is prosperity. In order to understand the prosperity of Yah, we must be gone uh, in Torah and see what brought about his prosperity unto Yisrael. And if we gain it any other way, it is by our own strength that we have gained it, uh, and it shall all come to naught. That's why we can see this nation, it is faltering, it is falling, and it is going to come to a complete failure. Because what they call prosperity and gaining, it has been acquired by thievery and butchering and killing and destroying of nations and people. 
So it's not the sholach of Omariya. It is a false image. And that is what Hashatan uses. He uses images and things to create this delusion that it is, uh, it is, uh, it is the utmost uh, uh, success uh, when one reaches a certain pinnacle uh, and one possess certain things. A house is a house. I don't care how big it is. They all serve the same purpose. I don't care how small it is. It all serves the same purpose. A vehicle can only get you to point A to point B. And your feet will get you to the same destination, maybe a little late, but they will get you there as well. So this is not the sign, what we see in the world of the Zolach, or the prospering of Omariya. The people are bound, they are under bondage, they are under captivity, and they will do anything to acquire those little things that are not even tangible or eternal, they're only for a moment, so Yah must give us the remedy. He must prescribe unto us uh, what and how we must prosper or shalach or advance in him, go forth to proceed and to have tav success. I would have begun here in the book of uh, Yehoshua bin Nun, Joshua, chapter 1 and verse 5. It is important. And this is the promise unto Yehoshua, Yehoshua, that Yah promised unto him, and he, as we are the people of Yah, he was the leader of Yisrael, the people of Almighty Yah. And his name implies that Yahweh is the one that delivers us. He is the one that you're shocked. He's the one that saves us. He is the one that grants us salvation. And we know where our salvation comes from. It comes from the most uh, almighty Yahweh and not some damned Christ or a Christ. It comes in the power, the revelation, the knowledge, and the making known of Yeshua. Hamashiach, the one that is anointed of Almighty Yahweh. Yehoshua bin Nun, Joshua, chapter 1, verse 5. And this is what Yah speaks unto Yehoshua. He says unto him, There shall not be any man to be able to resist you in all the days of your life. No man can combat what you speak. What you say, uh, they will not be able to resist it uh, with all of their gang saying. There will be no man that can stand against the power of your words uh, because I am with you as I was with Moshe, uh, so shall I be with you as well. Uh, so no man in all of his gang saying, uh, in all of his opposition, uh, he cannot dismantle uh, what you shall speak, Yahushua. He says, as I was with Moshe, uh, so shall I be with you. And Yah says this. He said, I will not fail you. I will not fail you. I will not let you down. I will not let the adversary destroy you. You will not be uh, uh, succumb to the words of men uh, that they will bring you down uh, and dilute the words of your mouth. He said, I will not fail you. He said, nor will I forsake you. Uh, and this is the promise unto Yisra'ya. If we could understand that Yah will never fail us, He will never forsake us. Now this is Yah talking uh, unto those that He has granted salvation uh, unto. Uh, even our natural kinsmen, our relatives, and those that we declare of our friends, they will forsake us. Uh, they will not stand with us and they will deny us. But Yah says, uh, you will not fail. You will not fail because I am with you. So if Yah is with us, there is an order that we must proceed in in order to know that he is with us. As he was with Moshe, so shall he be with Yisrael. That is a promise unto uh, his people. Now there are restraints, there's an order, there are things that we must comply to uh, in order to walk in the dynamic system of the Torah of Yah that we delight in what Yah commands, we rejoice that he has granted unto us the wisdom and the knowledge of the matter of his mind, of the supreme mind, that the mind that everything is speaks 
is excellent. He commands him, we must now, he commands him, uh, he said, I want you to be hazak. I want you to be strong. I want you to be firm in the word. I want you to grow firm. Uh, I want you to grow strong. I want you to mature. I want you to be strong, uh, hazak. Uh, I want you to have this uh, resolute power of mind that what I have spoken, uh, no man can resist it. I have said it. It is settled, that's enough, and you must be resolute in that matter. I have said it, you hold fast to that. Be hazak, I want you to be strong, and he says, I want you to be of mats. I want you to be of courage. I want you to be stout, Yahushua. I want you to be firm and strong. I want you to have the resolve and the resilience when the enemy come against you, you're able to stand. I want you to be one that is solid and bold and not given over unto the seduction of the wicked one or when men speak, be strong and be of mats, be of, uh, of a solid nature. He said, for to this people, for to the people of Israel, shall you divide for an inheritance the land which I declared and I swore unto your avant to give unto them. That there are promises that Yah has promised to give unto Israel. And they are found, his promises are the same as we are reminded with Zachim Bermin. He tells us of his daba, and his daba is his promises. As his word is his bond. So what Yah says, he, mean, he means it. He is not speaking in volume that is empty. His words of great volume. So we must first of all be strong. We must be hazak. We must be hardened with, uh, with resilience. We must have the resolve that we will not uh, falter from the ways of Almighty Yah. That's where we mess up. Because we falter from the ways of Yah. He gives us command and instructions as how to walk, how we must carry ourselves, in what direction we must travel in order to enjoy the shalach, the prosperity that we advance. We advance in our, in our mindset, in our conscience, in our way that we walk, in our spiritual light that shines from us, that others can see that, Israel. He wants his people to prosper. And he said, as I have granted unto you, uh, Yahushua, you shall direct the people as to how they must live in the land that I have promised unto their avat. That's why we need messengers that they will direct us and uh, how we must walk as according to the promises unto our forefathers uh, that brought the riches of the promises of Yah's blessings upon them, uh, that we may enjoy the same things uh, that they enjoyed as well, Yisraya. This is for his nation uh, and his people. Uh, it is not for the wicked and the corrupt ones uh, that this image that has been purported before us uh, to have land and houses uh, that is somewhat prosperous, uh, it is not the prosperity of Yah. It is a delusion. That's why how short tongue said to Yahshua when he showed him all the kingdoms of the world in the moment of time. He said, all this is mine. For it has been nothing. It has been bestowed, delivered unto me. And it has been for a season. And he said, to whomsoever I want to make rich or give or make powerful, I have the power to do it. You just bow down and worship me, he said, and I will grant this unto you. So the mind that has been established through a delusional type teaching this doctrine, it is a mind that is wicked, that bows down unto Hoshatan, and people flourish in those things because they're worshiping him through their Christo, their damn Baal, their Lord Jesus, their damn twisted gods. They're worshiping Hashotan because those that worship Omariya, we must do it in Ruach, in the power of his life or, or the living testimony of Yahshua in us, uh, 
and in Imad, in truth. And his Torah, he is truth. His Sadiq is an everlasting Sadiq. And his Torah, his truth is, or the law, or his Torah is truth, Yisrael. And we must go according to the prescribed manner of Almighty Yah. Moving quickly here, hallelujah. He says, I want you to be of good courage in verse 6. And you shall divide this land. Verse 7 he says, and he uses the word rach only. Notwithstanding, I don't care what comes your way. Only, only he says, do you hear that? Only be very on the earth with exceeding much. Be very much courageous. You must have the omats. You must be very courageous, Yisra'ya. You must be solid. You must be strong. Your character, your personality, your stance. You can't uh, falter. You can't waver. You must stand strong. You must have the, the resolute power of what Yah has spoken. That must be your resolution. That is what must be your constitution because Yah has spoken it. He said, I want you to be of great, of very much. Mu'od, much abundance. I want you to be courageous, Yisra'iyah. He said, for what reason? That you may shema, that you may observe to do all, to do according to all the Torah. Does he say that? We must do all whole according, call all the whole, the full of the Torah. And the Torah which Moshe, my servant, commanded you. We must do all according to the Torah that was commanded unto Moshe. That must be established, Yisra'iyah. We must be courageous. We must be strong. You don't let them talk that damn devil Jesus talk that they are blessed and they have much. It is the damn Lord. It is not the riches of Yah. He said, you must do all according to the Torah, which Moshe, my servant, commanded you. And he said, turn not from it to the right hand or to the left. Don't even allow your conscience, your thoughts, the actions of others to cause you to subside from Torah. I want you to be courageous and strong and be adamant, be hardened, be firm in your assessments according to Torah. He said, I don't care what comes, come hell, how order. You don't turn to your left, you don't turn to your right. Well, we will fire you, fire me, man. You don't turn to your conscience, you don't turn to what things that you must sustain. Yah said, don't turn from anything. You hold fast. Well, you got to work on the Shabbat. These damn dirty bastards today, that's what they are. They're telling people that it's all right to work on the Shabbat. They are dirty bastards of hell. It's wrong. I got a 10, 12, 15 page teaching just on that alone. And one day I will teach it. I have it. Every scripture it is, every katsuva there is. Hallelujah. So you don't turn to your right hand or to your left hand. For what reason? He said you do all according to the Torah that is written. That you may that you may prosper. That you may walk in the, the prudence of Torah. You may act circumspectly, you may be wise, you may know how to utilize uh, the very riches of Yah, you may know how to disperse them unto the kingdom, uh, you may know how to share them uh, among Israel. And this damnable twisted doctrine of prosperity of uh, what these houses of Hordam teach, uh, it, is a, it is a wicked selfishness. It is one on greed and one on consumption. It, it doesn't uh, uh, cause their heart to care about anyone because they don't give a damn. Yah says you're going to divide uh, uh, inheritance among the 12 tribes uh, of Yisrael. So you must be resolute, you must be strong that you may shakhal, you may prosper. You may advance in the wisdom and the, and the knowledge of Yah. You may advance in the wealth and the substance of Almighty Yah. That you may proceed 
from Emona to Emona that uh, you will abound and stand strong uh, even with all the opposition against you. You will not falter. You will not give up. You will not give in. You will not be subdued by the powers of hell uh, and no man be, will be able to resist you all the days of your life. Uh, they can come with the foolish talk but it will mean nothing. Uh, they can come with all that talk but they have no power, no wisdom at all. They're empty. That's what they are. He said that you may prosper. Hear this, wherever you go, now this is how we, as a nation of people, this is how we prosper. That we do all things according to Torah. All things that Yahshua HaMashiach commanded us, we must do all things, not some, not because of emotions or, or one's uh, own uh, interpretation of the matter. The Torah is simple that even the stranger can understand Torah. You can't prosper outside of the ingredients of Yah. He said, wherever, so ever, wherever you go, you will prosper. And he goes on to say to him in verse 8, he says, this stroll of the Torah shall not mush, it shall not depart. Or the concepts, the ideas, the word mush means that it shall never recede. You shall never, it shall never draw back from the stance. You will be strong. And this Torah and this stroll of the Torah shall not depart out of your mouth, but you shall hagar. You shall meditate. You shall study. You shall learn it. You shall rejoice in it. You shall shall sing in it and dance in it. You shall twirl in it. That's what Hagar, that's what meditation is. You shall meditate in it. You shall meditate there in day and night that you may, that's the only way we're going to learn how that you may observe to do all according that is written therein. That's the only way. And the enemy keeps us away from that, doesn't he? That's why we can't do all that according to what is written therein. That's why we don't prosper as a nation, as a people. That's why we don't prosper individually. Shakal. Because we don't meditate, we don't hagal, we don't read the Torah, we don't, uh, we don't mourn, we don't cry out. We don't study the Torah. This is Yah's prescription. You know, it's amazing because uh, this wicked, corrupt generation uh, of these uh, whore thumpers, what they are, say that they are blessed. They don't even pick up the book. They don't even look at it. And yet they say they are blessed, they are prospering uh, in the ways of Yah. Not so. This is the only way that the Torah of Yah shall not depart from your mouth. Whatever is written therein. And then he says, for then, for then. He said, when you do this, continuing in verse 8, for then, for then, shall, then, for then you shall, for then you, Yisrael, we shall make our way prosperous. Does it say that? That we shall make our way shalach. We shall advance. We shall make the progression or the progress that we should make. We shall, we shall be profitable. We shall succeed. We shall be successful. That's what Yah means. Only then shall we prosper. So for man, it's not meditating in the Torah day and night, uh, and he's not doing what is written therein, he cannot prosper. And that's why we cannot prosper, Yisrael. When we get to this state, this mindset, we will prosper in the ways of Almighty Yah. We will advance, and nations will see that, and they will ask us the question uh, of the reason of our advancement. Uh, that's what Yah says, uh, just be strong when it seems as though that uh, things are not uh, maturating the way they should. You don't, you don't stumble and give up. You become even more adamant and firm. You stand firm and strong. You stand with resolve and be of great uh, courage or armats. Have the strength of Almighty Yah. And then shall you prosper. Then you, then you, Yisra'ya, do you all hear that? He said, then you shall make your way prosperous. Hell, you don't need no Bank of America cards. He said, then you shall make your way prosperous. Then you shall make your way prosperous. Then you shall make your way prosperous, Israel. You shall make your way, Jolak. You shall advance. 
You shall have to have success. You shall be profitable. Your words are profitable, Allah. There's much value to your speech. There's much value to your actions, to your ideas. They will produce Yisra'ya. That's what he meant for his people. And it's one thing that the enemy has done. He has given us all or trained our minds in this religious holotry of Christendom that denounced and denied the Torah. So we got to catch up speed, Yisra'ya. We don't have time to procrastinate. We got to prosper. We got to become more prudent and circumspect in the ways of Yah for the battle that is ahead of us. You cannot fight a, an excellent battle of Imuna if you don't have the Imuna of Yah. And it must be developed by the Torah of Almighty Yah. You see the actions, the deeds of Yah. You see the might of his hand. You see what he has done, what he will do. You will see his eduth, uh, the testimony, his edah, what speaks of him, his might, his power. And then you began to hagah, you began to meditate and groan uh, with great delight in what Yah has done. Then, then you, then shall you make your way uh, prosperous. But we must observe to do all things. Uh, and then you shall make your way prosper. Then you shall make your way prosperous. Uh, he said, and then you shall have tav success. Same thing, Shachal. You shall have tav success wherever you go. It makes no difference where you go. It makes no difference of the circumstances. Uh, you shall have tav success. How do we get to that position? We must continue to observe the things that are written in the Torah. The Christian horde tells us that that was for them. Well, we are the them. And it is for the them, it is for us. It is not for this religious dirty whore that we call Christendom. It is for Yisrael, the elect, the people of Yah. It is those that he has appointed. It's your shock, his salvation unto Yisrael. We make our ways prosperous when we began to obey the commands and walk in the stipulations that are written in the Torah. The enemy has robbed us that we don't even walk circumspectly. We don't even want conscientious uh, of, the, of the ways of your Our thoughts uh, are not like his thoughts. Uh, we labor in this life and it all comes to naught. We labor and we die for what? What the world calls prosperous, not so. There's a way, there's a plan for Yisra'ya. We can't walk in the way of the wicked. That's why when Yah commanded Yisra'ya, when you're going to land, don't even cohabitate with the wicked. Who I tell you to destroy, you destroy. And we must destroy those elements in our lives uh, that resist Yah. We must do that, Yisra'ya. He concludes in verse 9. Yah says, have not I commanded you? Is it not I that sava?" That instructs you with uh, the with mandate uh, that has been originated in my bosom. Uh, come on, Yisrael, this is Yah's command. This is Almighty Yahweh's command. This is his command to his people. Have not I commanded you, he says, I want you first of all to be hazach. I want you to be strong with resolute, with great power. And also I want you to be a nuts. I want you to have the alertness of Torah. I want you to have this, uh, this consciousness of Torah. I want you to be strong and of courage and courageous. And then he tells him, don't be a rat. Don't be afraid. Don't tremble. Don't dread. Don't, don't be afraid. We are fearful people. He said, don't be afraid. Neither be ha ha. Don't be dismayed. Don't, don't allow the circumstances to shatter you or to cause you to be broken and to cause you to become numb to the Torah. And you're trying to find resolution and remedies outside of the Torah. He said, don't be dismayed. I don't care what you see. Don't let it cause you to be dismayed. He said, for Yah, your Abba is with you wheresoever you go. In the midst of great afflictions, 
He said, Yah is with you. Don't, don't be dismayed. Don't be shattered. Don't be overtaken uh, by the circumstances uh, that may surround you at time. And it seems as though that it is overbearing. Don't do that. Uh, you continue in what is written in the Torah. You abide in what is in the Torah. And then you shall make your way prosperous. Uh, the steps of a Sudhik man, the Yalach, uh, they are ordered by Almighty Yah. How does he order it? According uh, to Torah. They are ordered uh, in the stipulations uh, of Torah. We have the power, Yisrael, to make our way prosperous. We have the power, this is the command of Yah. He will be with us uh, to make our way prosperous. Uh, not only in the physical state, but in health, uh, in our nefesh, in our ruach, uh, that we will prosper, be strong, uh, and have the dynamics of the power of the Torah that even the opposition of hell cannot resist us. Uh, we will not bow down. We will not uh, surrender. We will not give in uh, to anything at all. Oh, yeah. Then shall we make our way prosperous. Uh, that we need to get on that road. To make our way prosperous, Israel. Yeah. We must get on that road. This is, this is the, the remedy yeah. to all things. Yeah. And the enemy has set up this delusional whore to make us think that that is the prosperity. There are people that have millions of dollars and they go broke because uh, they, 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 they don't have the sakhal, the sokhal. They, they, they're not, they don't have the prudence or the circumspect or the wisdom to handle anything at all, Israel. Yeah. This is the ingredients for us as a nation, as a people. We must be strong against all the opposition of the enemy. As the enemy press upon us in these trying times, we must be strong and we must have the courage of what Torah develops in us. That's why the enemy keeps us out of the Torah. That's why he keeps us out of the Torah. We have time for everything but the Torah of Almighty Yah, Yisrael. We must labor in the Torah of Almighty Yah. I want to read this prophecy of Yisra'iyah. As we as a nation, we have been dispersed into all nations. And the reason we have been dispersed because of the disobedience of our forefathers and our disobedience as well, Yisra'iyah. We have been disobedient unto the Torah of Yah. And because of that, because we have been disobedient, this is the result and the state and the nature of our place today. In the book of Devarim, Deuteronomy chapter 28, uh, verse 28 quickly. Yah says, because you have been disobedient unto the Torah of Yah, you have denied, uh, you have not walked therein, you have not, uh, you have not meditated day and night in the Torah. Yah says here in Devarim, Deuteronomy 28, 28, uh, he said, because of your disobedience, Yah shall smite, he shall nacha, he shall conquer you, Yisrael, and cause us to be subjugated. He shall smite us with uh, madness or sugar on, with this furious craziness of mind. Our minds think crazy stuff, doesn't it? We are crazy at time. This is the sugar on. Of Yah, he said, he will smite us with madness uh, and with blindness uh, and astonishment of love. Why? And you shall grow. You shall grow at noonday as a blind man gropes in darkness. Uh, as a blind man gropes in darkness because of our disobedience unto the Torah. He said, and you shall not prosper. You shall not shalach. Because we have been disobedient unto the Torah. That's why we are not prospering. He said, and you shall not prosper in your ways. Did he not command, uh, did he not command Yahushua again back in Yahushua 1 8, 1 8 in the latter part? Then shall you make your way prosperous if you obey Yah. Did I not read that? He said, then you shall make your way prosperous. You shall advance, you shall have prosperity. He said, because you have been disobedient unto the Torah in Dibarim, he says, you shall not prosper in your ways. And you shall only be oppressed and spoil evermore. And no man shall your shock, no man is going to liberate you or deliver you or give you victory. And no man shall be able to liberate you or deliver you. 
no man. That's why it is of great importance that we delight in the Torah. And our minds have been trained by this treacherous, wicked Jezebel, this, this dirty whore. We all have been trained by her to abandon, to resist the Torah, to speak evil against it. We don't have to do that. And Yah says in Dibarim, if you don't, when you turn away from Torah, this shall come upon you. I will smite you with madness. Your mind will think of some of the most craziest, foolish mess. You will, you'll be succumbed as a blind man, trying to find your way in the midst of a wicked generation, trying to traverse in this wicked generation. He said, and you shall not make your way prosperous. You shall not prosper. You shall not you shall not walk circumspectly. You will not advance. You will not have tough success. You will not prosper in the ways of Yah, in the things of Yah, in the mind of Yahshua, Hamashiach. This is the truth, Yisra'ya. That's why the enemy has worked so masterfully to keep us away, Yisra'ya, from Torah. And to establish this most damnable, twisted concept of this most wicked God, and manifest this damn thing they call God and Lord Baal and their Christo that grants unto them the, the very wicked desires of their heart. We must delight ourselves uh, in, the, in the Torah of Yah and he will give us the desires of our love. We delight in the Torah. The Torah establish what causes Yah to delight in, in us. He will put it there. He said, I will be with you wherever you go. Did he not say that? I will scatter you, but I will be with you. And if you walk in obedience unto the Torah, I will prosper. You will make your ways prosperous. Yeah. If you walk in the Torah, we will make our ways prosperous. And now we see this phony substitute. And people think that they are prospering with a 40-year mortgage. They think that they are prospering with eight years to pay for a vehicle. They think that they're prospering uh, and they're nothing but slaves uh, to the master. And they think that they're prospering. They deny their children, their husbands, their wives, uh, their homes. And they think that they're prospering. That's what they call prosperity. The Torah is never recited in their homes. Uh, the book is never opened. Hell, the television entertained them all 24-7. That is the truth, Yisrael. The way of Yah's prospering for Yisra'ya. Quickly here. I want to read this. Now this is what Yah spoke unto Yahushua. He speaks unto Yisra'ya here in Dibarim. Now look at what Dawi speaks unto Shalomo here in First Chronicles. First Dibri Ha'yahim. First Chronicles. First Dibri Ha'yahim. Yahim. First Chronicles 22, verse 11. And as David instructs Shalomo in the promises of Yah and his duty as far as building the bay at the house of Almighty Yah, he tells him the same words that Yah spoke unto Yahushua. First Chronicles 22, 11. He said, now my son, Yahweh be with you. Hallelujah. Did not Yah says unto Yahushua that I will be with you wheresoever you go? He said, Yahweh be with you. And he says, and Yah will prosper. Shalach. He will cause you to advance. He will make you progress and to be successful and to succeed in the matters that are dear to his heart. <clears throat> he said, and Yah, and Yah will be with you and Yah will prosper you. And build a bay, build the bayet of Yah, our Yoruba, as he has said of you. He says, now only Yahweh gives you wisdom and understanding. Only Yah gives you wisdom and understanding. And he gives you charge concerning uh, Israel, his people, uh, that you may keep the Torah of Omar Yahweh, Yoruba, then shall you prosper. Now how? 
in hell, this damn wicked world that says that it is prospering, this religious whore that they say they are prospering. Dawid said you must keep the Torah, the law of Yah. Then shall you prosper. Then shall you sholach. You shall advance, Yisrael. You shall be very profitable. A dollar in your hands is like having 500. And you shall do, is that what he said? Is that what he says? And that you may keep the Torah of Yah, your Abba. He says in verse 13, 1 Chronicles 22, 13, he said, when you do that, then shall you prosper, Zolak. If you take heed, now you must take heed now. You must give your mind, your country, you must take heed to fulfill. You can't denounce them. You must fulfill what? The hook or the statutes, the actions that are prescribed by Yah. That's what he commands, Israel. The world says, uh, you don't have to do those things. They're not valuable. They're not pertinent. They're not important. That we should fulfill the statutes and uh, judgment, the mishpatim, uh, which Yah charged Moshe. Did he not give him the same Torah that he said he gave unto Yahushua? Is it not the same charge? Uh, the Torah that Yah gave unto Moshe, Yahushua, you must keep that Torah. Is it not the same Torah that Dawi gives on the Shalomo, that the Torah that Moshe, you must keep that in order to prosper? This is a false delusion that we see today. This is not the prosperity of Yah. This is a, this is a, synthetic, pros, a synthetic form uh, of delusion that the enemy is using uh, that we think is the prosperity of Yah. This nation has an advance. Uh, we are as wicked as we were when, we, when they first settled here. They're still killing. They're still destroying. They're still robbing. The economy is still hellish and in bad shape. You must keep the same Torah, the Torah has not changed. He said, which, Yah, which Yahweh charged Moshe concerning Yisra'ya. And again, he tells him, you must be hazak. You must be strong. You must be firm. We must grow firm. We must grow strong. We must grow courageous. We must grow stout. And the only way we do that is by nurturing our minds in the Torah. We must hold fast and hold on to what Yah has commanded. And he told him the same thing and be of tough, excellent, uh, mat's courage uh, to be brave, to be bold, to be brazen. Uh, don't give a damn what the world says and what the wicked, uh, how they oppose you. Uh, you be brave and strong and stout. You don't bow down to the wicked uh, and say, dread not. And again, as he says uh, unto Yahushua, be not uh, fat, be not dismayed. Uh, are the words the same? You go back and study the verses that I'm showing you tonight. Uh, and you will find the very same words, the same expression that Dawi spoke, uh, that Yah spoke uh, hundreds of years before Dawi was ever born. They have not changed. Same thing, be strong, be great courage. And then you shall you make your way prosperous, Yisraya. When we go away from the Torah, as we see today, then we, we see this smiting of madness and disillusion upon us because we have gone from the Torah. That's why the enemy is always trying to manipulate us and drive us away from Torah, Yisraya. So he's going to play on our emotions, our, our feelings uh, with circumstances and situations. Uh, but you must be driven to the Torah. You must be strong. You, we must develop our minds to become strong uh, with great delight in the Torah of Yah. And then when you, when you do that, then you will see the final result. And I will show you what the final result will bring unto us as a nation, as a people, individually, as a whole. I will show you what it will bring unto us. Uh, hallelujah. Let us be strong. Let us not be dismayed. Let us press on. <clears throat> Hallelujah. Again, back to 1 Chronicles 29, 23. Ha, Yaim. 1 Chronicles 29, 
23. It says here, Then Shlomo sat on the throne of the Hesse of Yah as Melech, instead of David his Avat. And it says, And he prospered, and all Yisraya obeyed him. And he prospered. Because he walked in the ways of the Torah that Yah commanded as thy we commanded him, the Torah of Moshe. It was only when Shalomo began to walk in this, in rebelliousness against Torah, he began to embrace the many wise as we have embraced the many concepts of Christendom. And we still hold fast to them and we still got our little, uh, our little green that grows, our little grows for certain aspects of Christendom that we don't want to let go. And we must let the damned Jezebel, her filthy, wicked, stinking hands, they must come off of us, Yisraya, in order for us to make our ways prosperous. And when we make our ways prosperous, it is the nefesh that our minds prosper, our bodies, our physical being, our spiritual being, we prosper in all, in the wholeness of Almighty Yah. And when we walk that way, there is no sickness among Yisraeliah. That is the truth. I don't care what trial opposition we may be opposed against. We must be strong with resolute in what the Torah commands us. <clears throat> we can't denounce that or deny that. We must be firm in what the Torah says. Hallelujah. It says here in 2 Chronicles, 2 Debris, Hayaim. 2 Chronicles 13 and 12. This is when Abiyah, when he reigned over Yehuda, over Yehuda, and because he walked in the ways of Yah, Yah gave him victory over Yeroboam. And he will give us victory over those that walk in utter wickedness and defilement of the Torah of Yah. I want to read this quickly. Hallelujah. It says here in 2 Chronicles 13, 12, And behold, Almighty Yahweh himself is with us for our Rush, or our captain. He's with us, Israel. He was going out to battle, and Yah had to, to confirm that wheresoever you go, I will be with you. He says, Abba Yah, I am with you, and I will be your captain. Now, as the Levi spoke unto the whole son, of Yisraya and his Kohan with sounding trumpets or shofar to cry alarm against you, O children of Yisraya. He says, Fight or Laham, you fight, you want to make war, you not against Yahweh, your sovereign master of your heart, for you shall not prosper. You see what this religious war has done to our mind? She has made us to make war against Yah. So we fight against the principles, the statues of Yah. Well, I don't see why we can't do that. Why are these statues or these hook or these limitations applied to me? And that's why we are not prospering, Yisraya. And Yisraya is not prospering because we're fighting against Torah. And when we fight against Torah, and that's why this dirty whore has trained us to fight against Torah. Well, we don't have to keep the Shabbat. You're a damn liar. Well, his name is I am Haya. You're a damn lawyer. You must keep the Torah. You began to fight against Torah, you're fighting against Yah. And we fight against Torah, we don't prosper. Listen, Yisraya. When one walks in the Zahal, or the circumspect of Yah, when one walks in the wisdom, that is what circumspect is. The mind is circumcised. The mind is clear. The conscience is clear because we have the mind of Yahshua. And we walk in the things that are lawful according to the Torah. And the Torah restricts us uh, that we will not pollute uh, the very covenant that has been granted unto us because all that we need is in the covenant. Uh, we don't have to go outside the covenant uh, to try to, to garner blessings or riches. Uh, and that's what this dirty hole has taught us. And we're fighting against Yah. <laughs> we fight against his messengers. We fight against truth. We fight against that. Resist it. 
We become brazen and bold that we finally get so Yah says uh, unto Abiyah, in order for you to overtake your enemies, you must not fight against Yah Yisra'ah. For wheresoever Yisra'ah is, Yah is with them. We abide in the delight of Torah, but we must abide in the delight of Torah. That's why our minds do not uh, gravitate to Torah because the enemy knows that this is what gives you the resolution, the strength, the power. They give you the unction, the wherewithal, the might to resist because we're submitting unto what the Torah says that we have the power <clears throat> to resist Hashatan till he must flee from us. He cannot dominate our minds and control our minds, Yisra'ah. And when we do that, we make our way prosperous. We began to advance in the ways of Yah. We began to have power to command and to charge the enemy. We began to have the power to resist the wicked one of hell and speak those things as though they are, even though they're not. We have the power to speak them, Yisra'ah. Sure we will. But it begins in the delight of the Torah of Omariah. Let not even our own minds trick us. And when we fight against Yah, we are not going to prosper. I don't give a damn what you try. You can go buy a $50 million house. That's a burden because you got taxes. You got electric bill. You got to keep it up. You find these young men making $100 million over their lifetime and they're broke today. Don't even have a dime. <clears throat> And they're broke, but yet that is the delusion that that is prosperous. And that is what they call, quote, good success, unquote. It is not the tough success of Almighty Yah. Can I advance here? Hallelujah. Second Chronicles 24, 17. I want to show you the pattern of Yah's uh, prosperity unto his nation. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. This is, this is, the, this is uh, concerning your eyes when he reigns uh, there in the days of uh, Yehoadiah. Hallelujah. And afterwards, because of, their, because of his unwillingness, uh, they fall into idolatry. Uh, and then because of that, they cause the Nomi Zechariah to be slain. Now this is the context of the story, not the story, but the, the detailed, the descriptive analysis of that matter that we may learn from this and not succumb to the same nature. Second Chronicles 24, 17, it says, Now after the death of Yah Yahuadiah came the priests of the princess of Yehuda and made bow to the Melach. Then the Melech hearkened to them. And they left the bed of Yah. Listen now. They left the house of Yah, the sovereign master of the Avat. They left the ways of Yah. They left serving the Torah. And then they began to serve Asherah. They began to serve the groves, the goddess and the goddess. They began to serve the groves, and then they began to serve the asab, the idols, those things that have been created in their minds and been created by the figment of their imagination and man. They began to serve the images of their mind, and wrath came upon Yahuda and Yerushalayim for what? For their trespass, for their... Ashma, for they trespass, they sin, they did wrong. We cannot trespass what is sin. When we trespass, we defy Asha, we do wrong against the Torah. We're fighting against Yah. Listen, Yisrael, yet Yah, he sent the Navi'im or the prophets to them. To bring them again to Yahweh, to Yah. And they testify, they ood, they stood and they protest. That's the way we are, are we not? They ood. The prophets warned and told them, admonished them, they charged them, they rebuked them, they reproved them. And they testified against Yisra'ah, Yehuda, 
and they will not give ear. We found ourselves like that, haven't we? We won't give ear to the truth, the correction of Yah. And the Ruach of Yah came upon Zechariah, the son of Yehoadiah, the Kohan, which stood above the people and said to them, this is what Yah says. Why do you, uh, why do you transgress? Why do you pass over my restraint? Why do you alienate yourself? Why do you transgress the mitzvah, the commandments of Almighty Yah? Did he not give Moshe these mitzvah? Is it this not what Daiwi said to Shalomo and Yah said uh, to Yahushua? Why do we transgress the Torah or the commands of Yah? He said, why do you transgress the commands of Yah that you cannot even prosper? You cannot, Zohar, you cannot prosper because you have azab, you have forsaken. You have departed, you have left behind, you have denounced, you have, you have forsaken Yah, and he has azab, he has abandoned you, and he has neglected you as well. You are not going to neglect Yah and think that you're going to prosper. These wicked ones, he says, Zechariah says, you have forsaken the commandments of Yah. These religious whole houses said they're prospering and they forsake. Zachar Shabbat. Shabbat. Remember the Shabbat Kibbil Kadash. In abundance, you cannot take the name of Yah in vain. He that does so shall not be held guiltless. They abandoned all that, and yet they said they're prospering. Uh, damn lies. There's a man that prosper in his own ways, uh, but it comes to naught, Yisrael. Yeah. God has given us the perfect remedy. We as a nation, individuals, uh, we can make our way prosperous. Uh, we do what is commanded and written uh, in the Torah of Yah. We go outside of that, we're not going to prosper. We're not going to have excellent health. Uh, we're not going to walk in the health of Yah. That's why Yahshua could speak. He is the word of Yah. He can lay hands, but we truly lay to heart the Torah of Yah. It is the healing power of Almighty Yah. Yah says, don't go and do what the heathens done, uh, and not any of these diseases that are poured upon. Egyptians shall come upon you. It is all right. It is. Come on, Yisrael. Yahshua is the living power of the Lord. Yahshua is the Torah. He is the word of Yah made flesh. When he laid hands on the, those, uh, every situation was the state of Yisra'ya. When he laid hands on them, it, it showed that when we allow the rush, our captain, our rush to head, uh, you're sure the word, the Torah of Yah, to become uh, saturated in our lives, uh, that there's no disease that can, ab can, can abide in us. And this religious whore has messed it up for us. The Baptist this damn wicked where the Baptists, the Methodists, the Lutheran, the Pentecostals are. They made us deny the commandments and renounce them. And we have not prospered at all. Our minds have not developed and advanced with wisdom circumspectly. We are still in the damnable, twisted rut that we ought not to be in because we have transgressed the commandments, the mitzvah of Yah. And we are not prospering. He wants us to prosper. It's not that Yah doesn't want us to prosper. He wants us to prosper. He wants us to prosper. That's what we can see even in a community at its zenith, at its zenith a pinnacle, at its height. To this is what is relegated to now. Because they still have the element of that nasty, dirty old whore in them. They had the element of the dirty old stinking whore. And they've gone back to the tables of dogs and beasts and slop and putrefied mass. I don't give a damn what any of them say. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Yeah. Now, if it's not you, don't even worry about what I'm saying, all right? Go on. You shouldn't be listening anyway. How about that? And if you're listening, it's for you. Because we have forsaken Yah. He shall azab, neglect us as well. Can ya la Yisraya? He cannot lie, can he? Can I show us one of the most simplest 
forms of Yah's pure prosperity for his house. Will you believe me if I can show you written in the book that we read it and we give no attentiveness to it? We turn to Tehillim, to Psalms, the first book of Psalms too. Chapter 1. Can I read a few verses here? Can I? I will. Beginning at verse 1. Can he lie? Can he lie? Can he tell a lie at all? Everything he says is the truth, isn't it? This is what he says. Brach, bless. Yah even bows his heart, his mind down. Brach is the man that walk not in the musa of the counsel of the rasha, the wicked. That you don't entertain the wicked, you don't allow them to speak uh, their wicked mandate to your mind. That man that doesn't walk in the counsel of the wicked, he's blessed. Nor stands in the way of sinners, nor sit in the way of the lutz, or the scorners. Can I tell you what a lutz is, a scorner? It is those that despise or the despisers of, of Torah. That's what lutz is. It tells us in our translation the scornful, uh, but in its truest form, it is roots. Uh, it is those that despise truth. That's what a scorn is. He despised truth. So when one despises truth, uh, you cannot walk in, uh, in hand in hand and step in step with that kind uh, of an individual. I don't care who it is. You speak the truth to them, they reject it. You can't walk. You can't unite with that individual. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. That's the only way that we as Yisra'ya can please Yah. So Barak is the man. Blessed is the man. The Esha, the blessings of Yah, the happiness of Yah, is the man that walk not in the counsel of the wicked, nor stand in the way of the sinner, nor sit in the seat of the lutes or the scornful. Listen. But his hafiz, or his hafiz, his delight, his delight is in the Torah of Yah. We must delight in the Torah. Y'all cannot lie, can he? All right, so this man, he is Barach, he is Esha, he's a happy man, his heart delights because he doesn't unite with the Lutz, the scorners, and the mockers, and the despisers of truth. He stands firm, he's bold, he has the Hazaka, he has the strong, tenacious courage of Yah to resist, to denounce, uh, to rebuke the devils of hell too. Yeah. So that man is Merak Yisra'ya. He has the Esh of Yah, but his delight is in the Torah of Yah. And in his Torah does he haga, he meditates day and night. Was that not the command unto Yahushua to meditate haga in the Torah day and night that he shall make his ways prosperous? Uh, the ways of Yah don't change. I don't give a damn what they say about the renewed of the Brit Hadassah, renewed covenant. It's the same. These damn twisted, wicked ones have twisted it. But it's the same, Yisra'ya. It is the same. <clears throat> and he shall, that man, that one shall be like a tree, tree planted by the rivers of waters. And he shall bring forth the peri, the fruit in his season. And his leaf shall not weather, wither. And whatsoever he does shall prosper. Shall shachar. Is it not the same thing that we said and Yah said? And then shall you make your way prosperous? Yah cannot lie. We have missed the beauty of the simplicity of Torah and the power of Torah because of wickedness and corruption. You understand? Yah said, this man shall, he shall make his way, he shall prosper. We can't sit in the seat of the scorn, scorners, the lutes, those that despise truth and mock truth, and sit down and break bread with them and eat and laugh. You're not going to prosper. You bring a cursed thing upon your house. I don't give a damn who it is. Mama, daddy, it makes no difference. They mock you. You can't even talk about you. You're afraid. I will. Hallelujah. You all something when you get on that plane, you all take command and charge. Hallelujah. You take command and charge even in, the, in that nation. Hallelujah. 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 There are those that prosper in their ways, but it's not worth a damn 
quickly here into helium. In Psalms 37, 7, this is your command. Yod tells us in Tehillim 37, 7, he tells us to doman, to rest. We, we need to be silent sometimes, just be still. That's all he's saying. I want you to wait. Just, just act like someone that's dumb. Act like a dumb ass. That's what he said. That's what Daman is. He said, rest in Yah. Just rest. Let's rest. He said, what you see? He said, rest now. He said, and wait. He said, I want you to cool. To wait. Just dance and rejoice. Just wait patiently for him. And he says, fret not. Don't be dismayed. You're said because of him who prosper in his way. Because of the man who bring wicked devices to pass. Don't, 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 don't get dismayed because you see them lying and doing wicked stuff to get cars and houses up. You just act dumb, stand dumb. That, that ain't y'all there. Serving a master. You can't serve two masters. You will love one and hate the other. You will despise one and rejoice with one. Come on, you can't serve uh, two masters. You can't do that. And the enemy has exactly such a mandate on us. We spend 10, 12 hours on jobs. You are never intended for it to be that way. No time for your wife. No time for your son. How can you develop a relationship? So that's why the marriages don't last. That's why they don't last the day. And that's the truth. He made for a man by the sweat of his face. Having food and necessity of food and clothing and a shelter. That's all you need, Yisraya. Hallelujah. Because you delight in the abundance of Yah's riches and his blessing that he grants unto Yisraya. Can I show us one of the most greatest impediments against us as a nation whereby we're not prospering that you remember this if you remember nothing out of this message who could speak with such elegant voice of wisdom more than Shalomo on this matter man that asked Yah to teach me how to go in and out before your people and Yah said because you haven't asked for the riches I'm going to give you that but I'm going to show you how to divide the heritage of Abraham Yudshach and Yaqub among my house. This is one of the greatest impediments of our defeat of not prospering. And is here in Michele Proverb. Hallelujah. And this is what we are all guilty of. Proverbs 28 and verse 13. I'm going to take my time. He that casa, that covers, that conceals, that hides, that lie. He that covers. He that casa. He that covers his sin shall not sarach. You will never advance. You will never prosper. We must confess our sins. That's what the Levi were, the priests that you went and confess your sins, that the proper offering was made. But we that cover our sins, Yah says, shall not prosper. But whosoever confess and forsake them, they shall have the hasset, the mercies of Yah. That's why we don't prosper. Because we cover sin. We cover sin. We protect sin. And we're not advancing our minds. We are as childish as we were 2015. Whatever your age is, we are as that childish. And that's the truth. Because we cover sin. We cover and we watch. We protect wickedness. I will, my friend. And that's why we don't prosper. That's why we don't advance. That's why our spiritual uh, persona doesn't advance. He that covers sin will not prosper. Did Israel prosper when they covered their sin? No. And this wicked whole house we call Christendom, that's all it does, cover sin and do sin. And they're prospering. Don't be dismayed. Just, just wait, my friend. 
Hallelujah. You simply just wait, just dumb on. Just be silent, act like a dumb nicompoont, but don't cover sin. Just wait, just be quiet, be still. Hallelujah. 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 Yeshua 48, verse 15. It's one thing that he, uh, he cannot go back on his words. The song that you all sing, that his Torah can't go around, cannot go around, cannot go around. The Torah of Yah, he cannot go around his Torah. And it's one thing that he is going to do as the Nobi Yeshua speaks unto us. This is a promise unto Yisrael that he is going to bring his deliverance and we shall prosper. Here in Yeshua 48, 15, I even, I have spoken, yes, I have called him, I have brought him, and he shall make his way prosperous. Yah is going to make the way of his people. As he said that we will make our way prosperous, his word, his Torah, is what makes our way prosperous, Yisrael. And he will make our way prosperous if we just abide and walk in the delight of the Torah. We must chaga. We must meditate and delight in the Torah of Yah. The enemy keeps us away from that. Let us begin afresh this night and begin a renewed delight in the Torah of Yah. I close with these two last readings. I want to read this out of the book of Shurach, though. It says in Shirach chapter 10, verse 5, the success or Shalach, the prosperity, the profiting, the advancing. It says the success of a man is in the hands of Yah. His prospering is in the hand of Yah. His Torah is in his hands, is it not? Is that your sure the right hand of Yah? Yes. That's what the success or the solach of a man is in the hands of Yah. And he confer his honor upon the person of the strive. The one that delight in the Torah, Yah prefer his honor or he bestow his honor upon him. And as we began to prosper, the only way we're going to walk in the delight and the health, the fullness of Yah's benefits is that we must begin in Torah. And one writing unto the elect, the elder Gaisha, Yakahan, second, third, Yakahan, third John, this is what he says to him. Third John 1 and 1, I close with this. He says unto the Zachin, and he was the well-beloved Gaisha. That's what he called him. He calls him that. He says, whom I love in the truth. Does not the Torah teach us how to love? That we have our, our neighbor even as we love ourselves. He say, I love you in the Torah. And then he says this. He called him my beloved. He said, I wish above all things that you may sakhal, prosper. And be in health even as your nefesh. And the nefesh soul as we are accustomed to saying. But the nefesh is not just something that is invisible. It is the full state of a man. It is the culmination of his fullness. His power. His, his physical power. His spiritual power. The fullness of a man. The breath that promotes that man. He said, I would above all things that you may prosper. And be in the excellent Rafa. The health of your even as your soul or your nephesh, your mind, your conscience, your thoughts, your love, as it grows in the Torah of knowledge of Almighty Yah that was revealed in your sure hammer shield. And as you stand stout, firm with confidence in that, then you will be a strong, mighty warrior of Almighty Yah and that you will prosper and you will have success that no man shall be able to gainsay you or withstand you. You shall proceed in the way that Yah has ordained for you to walk. That is the prosperity of Yah, not this damnable 
delusional, twisted, torted mess that we see today. It is the delusion from Hashatan, from hell. It is birth out of hell because if a damn, yes, my friend, I hope you're listening. I still use the word damn faggot. I will read a letter that a man wrote me the other day said that I shouldn't use the word faggot. In essence, he said, I hope the brothers there rise up against you and kick your ass because I use the word faggot. You must be one. And he, he prescribed in the letter how he slept with men. So this is the way the wicked are because uh, he's a faggot. I used to sleep with men. Then I said, you dirty bastard, why would you protect that? And so because he's done that, he, want, he wants to say that you, you, you've done that. He's a damn liar. A dirty dog. I hope you're listening, my friend. You know who you are. Hallelujah. May the riches of Yah rest upon you, Yisra Yah, we may prosper. It's some crazy people out there, my ach. Because he's a dirty, he's a, he is a compatriot of faggots. He raised hell at me. And he wants you all to rise up and beat me up because I use the word faggot. What a fool he is. And then he testified in the letter, I used to sleep with men. Well, uh, you're still doing it, you faggot dog. It sounds so worldly. Well, all faggots go to hell. Damn all faggots. I don't want no faggot dog touching my children. I don't want no damn faggot dog preparing no meal for me. Hallelujah, these dirty Faggot dogs, these damnable, twisted, uh, sodomite yes. creatures of hell. Uh, you protect that man, something is twisted in your mind. Hallelujah. I hope he's listening. Uh, even for that, he said, I won't listen to you no more. I don't. I don't need you no more than you need me. And I don't need a faggot. Damn all faggots. They're going to hell. May Yah barak you, Yisrael, be strong, be Strong be hazach, be strong, and be amets, be of courage, and stand firm in the Torah of Yah, then you shall make your way prosperous. May Yah rock you all that have joined us tonight. May the riches of Yah rest upon you all, and my enemies appreciate you. Let us stand to our feet. We appreciate you that have joined us on the live broadcast tonight. May the riches of Yah rock you. I didn't know if we were going to be able to have, sir, because... That, that's lightning storm. It just tore everything up. I heard some go pow. One of the computers just went, it, it won't even come on. And we need that here for what we do. We need that here for the sisters and sisters so that they can keep updating the stuff and answer the email. So we need that. May Yah uh, help us in that. Yah, in all things as we face the city of your command where your name is, I pray that you go with our Ach, Ach, Shimri. Ach Yosipia, Ach Yabind, and Ach Yawasadak, and our little Ach Admir, watch over them as they travel. Protect them on the plain, your hands upon it. Lift it up, set it down, and as they get there on the island, go with them and guide their speech, their walk, their ways, that they may be a light and a beacon unto the kingdom power, its manifestation of truth. Grant unto them wisdom to speak. And power, anointing, I pray you, Barach Ak Simri, as he speaks, even as he gather with our Ach Travis there in the tabernacle, give him strength and courage of heart to speak uh, whatever you put in his bosom to do. We ask it in your Yeshua's mighty name, protect their wives as they are away, comfort their heart that all will be well and they shall see them again. We ask it all in your Yeshua's name. Uh, Hallelujah! 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 Yabrak Yisrael! Yabrak!